I'm going to do all the A minor pentatonic right now, and I'll add that blues note too, which makes it the blues scale. But what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to plug in a root, and I'm going to start on the high E for you guys out there. And with the minor pentatonic, once you have the root, you always have a whole step below the root. All right? And then you always have a minor third up from the root, which means a whole step and a half step. Then you you have two whole steps, and it's called the pent, pent, pentatonic scale, which means five notes. So we already have covered one, two, three. Now we need a whole step, and then another whole step. Okay, so we have root, minor third, whole step, another whole step, minor third. Now I'm on that G note that's right here. So let's go backwards from the root. Because you're going to want to know how to go backwards and forwards with the pentatonic scale. And I'm not saying sit there and just do all your solos on one string, but that is how uh, you can get some new ideas and also get yourself out of always using that extension. Even though I highly recommend you practice that and use it, this will get you thinking about the instrument a little bit differently. And it's also you can get uh, into other positions of the scale uh, in more unconventional ways than just always using the that extension that you've maybe learned from me. Okay, so we got the root, minor third, two whole steps, and then a minor third. And then the whole step gets us back to the root. So going backwards, when you have the root, you always have that whole step below. Minor third, so... Then you've got whole step, whole step, minor third, whole step, minor third. That minor third from the root. Now the blues note is always after that whole step. And it's really good to just limit yourself to that one string and see what you can do. But for right now, let's actually find the root on the B string. So we're looking for A. Let's do that backwards technique. We're always going to go a whole step below. And you can already look and see that little piece of that extension right there. 